Markets deep in the red again this morning. Is it another week of selling pressure or are we getting near a bottom? That's coming up on three minutes on Markets and Money. Markets deep in the red again this morning as concerns over Fed speakers this week. We've got inflation coming out this week as well. Will we see inflation starting to peak? Will we start getting some talk by the Fed members maybe of a a bit softer stance towards fighting inflation and tightening monetary policy? This morning, markets unsure of any of that. Starting to open the day down here at the open, we're starting to push down into three standard deviations here below the 50-day moving average. So again, a good bit of pressure on markets here just recently. More importantly, sentiment across the board, whether it's professional sentiment, investor retail sentiment, uh, positioning, etc., all basically pushing into very negative territory. We've got technical indicators oversold on virtually every level. And again, money flows continue to remain very negative here as well. Here's the point of all of this is that it's going to be very important not to let your emotional nature at this point simply push you into position of forced selling, right? I just can't stand this decline anymore. I've got to get out. That type of action typically tends to mark bottoms of markets, and that's also where you tend to make the biggest mistakes, emotionally speaking, relative to your portfolio. You are where you are right now in terms of your allocation, and you may not like that allocation at the moment, but selling here is likely going to leave you missing whatever reflexive rally that we're going to get here, and that reflexive rally is going to be fairly sharp and quick. We did see kind of an initial surge of that early last week, Markets then failed, went to new lows. You're likely to get that type of a bounce here again later this week, next week, whatever it is. Use that rally to sell into and rebalance your portfolio. What's going to happen here most likely is if you sell today, you may be very okay. Markets could go lower here, certainly in the short term. We could push down towards 3,900 on the S&P. That certainly wouldn't be outside the realm of normality. Again, pushing well into this three standard deviation territory likely to be very short-lived. We've seen this before when Russia invaded Ukraine. Also, um, early this year when the markets initially started their sell-off right after that January peak as inflation really started to raise its head and people started to become very concerned about that. We've been in this, in this, in these levels where markets have had very nice reflexive rallies each time and the markets are kind of setting up for that exact same type of reflexive rally. Doesn't mean that you're going to get everything back that you've lost this year doesn't mean that markets are going to go to new highs. In fact, we could see a rally that simply just takes us back to where we are today or even last week, and that would be a better place to sell than selling potentially today because those emotionally driven selling opportunities that we that we fall into typically tend to be traps for investors that lead to worse outcomes in the future. So just be careful how you're positioning yourself right now. Look for a rally here to reduce risk, rebalance your portfolio, and just try not to let emotions dictate your investment strategy. I'm Lance Roberts for 3 Minutes of Markets and Money. See you back here tomorrow.